on the way up to Zenzi, uh, we came across uh, lions hunting. You'll see in the video here, there's one lion. There were a whole lot of zebra around. <clears throat> we thought we were gonna get a, a real lion hunt, uh, but unfortunately the zebra didn't come close enough and then she just walks off into the grass. We've come across this huge herd, absolutely massive herd of buffalo crossing the road. They probably, at the end of it, it was probably 20, 25 minutes, somewhere there, that they held us up. crossing the Ulifants River here uh, and you can see on the right hand side there there's a huge troop of baboons there. This is Lataba day campsite or day picnic area I should say. Uh, we've just stopped on the way up to Zenzi. We're gonna make a cup of tea or something to eat. We've just been into the toilets and whatever here. Lovely facility but so badly kept. Eh? Uh, somebody needs to look at it and make sure that they clean up properly around them. Swimming pool is beautiful, uh, but the rest needs some attention, loving care. Some of the picnic sites we went to are so beautifully kept. Others, you can see whoever runs them, managers or whoever, have no interest in, in keeping it nice. Turning into Zenzi camp here. We've booked in at uh, Mapani and we've got campsite number, sorry, 34. In the kitchen area at Zenzi, we found this wood owl. Evidently, had been there for a couple of days. Some days it would go away and not come back. And while we were there, uh, it didn't come back, it left. So we were very lucky to get this footage.
just another beautiful sunset the clouds light shining through formation of the clouds is magic absolutely magic It's not often we are first at the gate. Senzi is one of the places where there's not a huge rush and 20 or 30 cars before you're trying to get out the gate. So we were like first out the gate, 6 o'clock we drove straight out. Driving down the S50, we, we've come across these two honey badgers. I don't know if they were a pair, but they got into a bit of a squabble, which I didn't catch on camera. But it was nice to see because they were close and didn't run off straight away. I think it's the best footage I've got of honey badgers. We did a drive on the Songolola loop and at the outspan pan we came across this 
sable and it's the only sable I think that we've saw on the whole trip. Just looking at this Cory Bastard here, we saw lots and lots of them. Some seem to be in pairs, uh, which we very seldom see where there's two together. Uh, but we're seeing a lot, lot of Cory Bastards around there. Eh? Zinzi this morning and there was mist all over the countryside. It was the first time we had ever seen so much mist um, in Kruger and the photography, it was spectacular to take photos of elephants and the other planes games in the mist. <music> This elephant was using the step to give him that little bit of extra height to be able to get some water out the reservoir. We've arrived at one of the water holes. I'm not quite sure which one it is on the S50. Uh, found this male and female. It's a mating pair. They were a little bit in the distance.
In the morning, we sat with these two lions for about four hours, watching them botch hunt after hunt after hunt. Four times they tried and no luck. Eventually, we decided we were going to go home for lunch and uh, maybe just go back later in the afternoon. Right, we've arrived back here in the afternoon at about four-ish to find nine lions here, uh, two big females and seven cubs.
What a fantastic ending to our stay at Zenzi. Pity we didn't have just one more day, but we still have so much to look forward to. Join us next week as we head up to Punda and see what Kruger reveals to us. If you like our videos, click subscribe and drop us a comment. We always answer your comments.